Good afternoon, YouTubes. Today is very late. Uh, we finished this trailer to catch up today afternoon. Uh, you can see it's pretty close to the evening. And we are making this trailer for our ex extinguisher Sudanese client. This is a specially made for Sudanese market. Signed uh, fence trailer with drop side and here the stairs and this is a trampoline and a canvas uh, bucket on the box head. Here is uh, the gate and uh, the braking line and the electricity line. At the bottom you can see the chassis is very high to is 90 millimeter diameter king pen. Here's the landing gear. Landing gear will make it uh, right side operation. And same like uh, the air release cable, we can see later. This is uh, the spare tire carrier we specially made. And in the middle you can see it's a water tank. Uh, the light is getting dark, you cannot see too much details. And we made the strong side hook, side cable, uh, cable hook for the fastener. And uh, this is a black winch and uh, the weather is getting dark and you cannot see it either. Here is the rubber bumper for the drop side when it uh, comes down. And uh, this will block the side wall to not hit the side beam. And this is the light. And here is the twist lock to make sure the container could be also be loaded in the trailer box. Uh, here is the tire. BPW axle and uh, you can see the distance of the trailer axle is pretty big bigger than China market now uh, we are back to the rear part of the trailer as you can see the back part is uh, multi-purpose it can become a ramp for the tractor Oh, yeah. Here is the reflector for the drivers behind. This is uh, the license light. Now you cannot see, uh, you can see this one. This is a safety hawk. Uh, you can see the hole here it is uh, for the double trailer system here we are making the rear braking uh, connector this position is closed and now it's open so you can contact them both from here to here and also the electricity line here are the braking line and our logo and the respect reflector better light from this side you can see the bpw axle with 10 bolts and nuts and here you can uh no you cannot see anything inside we can take a video later gentleman who brought me the light here is the air release cable to release the reserve tank uh, pressure when the driver needs to maintain the air tank at the bottom uh yeah it's uh, here we can see it tomorrow so the water tank water with the 
water and the garbage can come out from the valve. On the side of the trailer, uh, you can see it's uh, uh, what you can see it's a side fence and uh, another side of the spare tire carrier. Side of the trailer here, uh, you can see here we have 12 container test lock to make sure the container could be loaded inside and also the camel bar you can remove it very easily it's very light here is the cable in the middle you can also remove it and the, the post in the middle of the two drop side also could be removable in the front is a bulk head it also removable good morning youtube uh, yesterday was very late now we, today we continue to see the trailer. This is the cable to hold the left and the right post to make sure it uh, won't uh, tear off in case. This is the top canvas bones. You can get it, get it off easily. And here is the uh, you can open here and here then the top side of the fence will be open and here you can see here is the another lock if you open here the drop side will open but it's pretty heavy i won't open here now let's close this first you need to open this to the top and uh, lock it then Make sure it's in the position. Yeah, I think I need both of my hands to lock it. Yeah, right now it's locked. Okay, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six cable in the middle for the six uh, post. I mean, twelve post, six each side, and this is the boat of the canvas bucket outside here uh, yep and this part is also detachable you can open from left and right to remove this from the bulkhead we can also remove the bulkhead for the delivery once it arrives to the post then uh, you can assemble it up and here is uh, the twist lock position here you can see it very easily uh, here is uh, the other side of the twist lock for containers. The waist of the trailer is designed uh, exactly for the waist of the container. It's a pretty mess there. Let me let me get it on, so we can make the trailer looks better from the outside. Uh, it's two hands job. Now we poke this. Uh, okay, then we fasten it. Make sure it's straight post uh, to in together. If uh, the client needs to transport the tractor, they need to remove the six cable. If they want to transport uh, like a bag or something else, it's better to put the cable on. And also these uh, bones on the top are for canvas. The canvas can be easily fastened to the top so inside it could be also an empty hollow uh, space for something like a cut or a shape. We are going to test uh, with this tractor and to test the ramp here later after one hour. I uh, hope uh, everything will be fine. This is a one side operation uh, landing gear after the touch from the tractor. The driver can easily uh, just uh, use this and to make sure it's right. It's pretty slow. It has two speed. Uh, let me see if we can see it is uh, rising by here. Because it's saving the strength for the driver. So if you use uh, the second gear, it would be quite slow. But if you use the first gear, the landing gear could uh, up and down very fast. Most of the time it's empty. But when it's loaded, you gotta use the second gear for the heavy strings.
This is uh, the spare tire carrier. Yesterday afternoon we were seeing this, but uh, last afternoon we haven't opened it. You can see you can open it like uh, this as a gate, and one driver can pull the tire by this kind of ruler on top very easily. And this is also removable. You can remove this from here and lock the tire by the device here. So nobody could steal your tire when your driver is driving. And we have a lock device here, can be easily locked by any lock. We have two spare tire carrier left and right. This is a water tank. The water tank is used to carry the water for wash hand and feet because the driver is driving the long distance. Any water would be very helpful for them because many of our clients is facing the critical environment uh, situation at their country. Uh, the side fence to protect uh, the left and right protection. That side is a two box. The two box is also for the protection to the left side and the right side. Let's go get to the bottom of here. Uh, I need to close the video now. Two hand job. Okay, we are at the bottom of the trailer now. Uh, you can see here is a uh, electricity cable. And this is a braking line trip cable, yellow color and red color. This is a suspension specially designed for Sudanese market. You can see it's pretty strong and different than the other uh, factories here. This Bosch is very important. If you don't have this Bosch, the spare, uh, the spring is going to wear the bolts off very quickly. So uh, we use this two piece of the plate to convert to the chassis and the axle and the suspension uh, like a, a square, like a one component or well, one, two, three, the three axle is uh, strongly connected to each other so it won't uh, have any serious uh, problem if anything happened. This is the leaf spring. A leaf spring we have uh, four pieces, one, two, three, four, four lengths, you can see from there leaf and the rest is half lens and this is the u-boat and the u-boat to top of here this part is very important it's a, a cast of steel the other factory would use the weaker part the weaker part will be damaged very easily and this is the braking chamber the braking hose we import from the u.s is according to the regulation of dot and sae j14 and 02a you can see here very easily and make it clear. Okay. Here is a water reserve tank. It usually has a, a lot of uh, waste water and garbage from the compressor of the tractor. The bottom valve is pretty important. Uh, usually the other factory won't uh, uh, install any cable to the outside. So the driver is very difficult to release the water tank. They must uh, go down to the trailer. Nobody is willing to do that, but with this cable, it's a very small part. But any driver can pull it from the outside. You will hear, then the water and the waste, the garbage gonna come out from that wall. This is a two box, and before in China, we have the lock here. So it is uh, easily to lock the tray and cannot make another one. So for African market and the Sudanese market, we use this type of simple design. They can put lock on and put lock off very easily for them. Here is the BPW axle again, and it's uh, made in China, Germany brand. And the tire is the Taikain, which uh, is also specially focusing on the Sudanese market. The quality is pretty good. And this is uh, the suspension hanger, specially designed for the axle space of 1830mm uh, lens. And this is the air reserve tank release cable I was mentioning at the bottom. Here you can see the double air chamber and the nylon hose and the rubber hose. Nylon tube is uh, for the fixed uh, line and the rubber hose is for the shake the line because the, the shakiness is going to break the nylon very easily. You can see the air chamber is uh, all toward to the back side because uh, when you're breaking the trailer the force is to the back 
So you need to use the air chamber at the same direction to the braking direction. Now we are at the bottom of the trailer again. You can see from here those uh, braking line valves and this is uh, specially valve to make sure the braking is uh, to break the rear trailer anytime. This is uh, the spring. You can see the spring has a hook here. It's different than the other side. And this hook is usually is opposite to the suspension rod over there and the suspension rod uh, over there. Those rod is and this hook is make sure the axle is holding the two suspension hanger in fixed position. Most of the factory would put this hook in the other side. It would be easily make sure the lift spring get off because the hook is the same side with the suspension rod over there. And this is the sleeve we were talking about to make sure the suspension, the spring won't consume the boat very fast. And this is uh, the license of the BPW axle. You can check the uh, right and wrong, uh, it's a fake or the real brand or not. This is uh, the double air chamber with the K on top. If you remove the K, you can put the K here. Uh, most of the flater lose this because uh, the driver don't know what to do. And this uh, red line is connecting the two air chamber in one. Because this is a double double trailer so the rear side is pretty strong you can see from here we specially designed for two trailers drawn together so it will never have any connection problem and this is our brand uh, mud flipper now we are at the rear part of uh, the trailer it is uh, with uh, the rear light and the drop side license plate the trailer coupler uh, mountain hole and the safe safety hook this is uh, the with, with the switch of the air connector for the second trailer this is the electricity line we haven't uh, quite uh, finished yet You can see we will the trailer not uh, fully. We leave the gap here is uh, for the quality, the chassis of uh, vibr vibration and shaking. You need to give them some gap to do the vibration, then they can come back. If you fully weld, it will crack here. And also we avoid the, like this is uh, top fl bottom flange. We avoid the welding to here to make it stronger because the two welding cross each other it will damage the welding quality and also here you can see like uh, the all the welding section we leave a gap there to make sure the welding line won't be damaged by the other welding line see many conditions uh, trailer conditions in sudan it's not quite good is because of the maintenance the lubrication is pretty cheap we need to use those type of uh, lubrication uh, holes and lubricate here and lubricate uh, all the necessary parts to make sure the trailer would last longer hey uh, I, I think this would be all for today and uh, hope uh, this video could show you all the details of this trailer and I hope uh, also to pop this video to the other client uh, haven't uh, purchased our trailer yet at Sudan uh, thanks talk to you later have a nice day guys bye